Welcome back to Magic Tarot Cards. This is Jasmine. Today I have a reading for all zodiac signs. This is general, but this is going to be what is coming in for you from now until the end of January. This is for all zodiac signs. First, I'd like to say if you're under the age of 18, please click off now. This reading is only for adults. Also, uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Give me a big thumbs up. And if you want to purchase my cup, this is what the cup looks like. It has an influence on it, and all you're doing is manifesting. What you do is you're going to get a sheet of paper. You're going to write down your intentions for this year, what you want to come true in health, money, and love. And you're going to, as you're reading the paper in Jesus' name always, you're going to drink from the cup. After you're done praying, reading, manifesting, you're going to put the cup on top of the paper, and you're going to leave it like that until the next time you pray. All right, and, and keep manifesting. It doesn't happen in just one time. You got to keep manifesting. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok at Magic Tarot Cards on TikTok to watch funny little skits. Also, my brother's page is down below. If you, the link is down below, please subscribe to his page. He's an artist. Watch his videos. And if you want to watch me dancing in a music video, um, the artist, her name is T Boning. The link is down below. All you have to do is click on it. And you'll see me dancing on the background. I'm in. The, I'm on that right side because there's two. We're called shadow dancers. There's two shadow dancers. The other one on this side. Um, it's a larger figure. She is my instructor, and my dance instructor. And then I'm over here. You can see more of my face. I'm the one to the right side. All right. There'll be other music videos that I'll appear in here pretty soon, and I'll put the links down below. There'll be two links for that. One is the making of her video, and then one is the actual video. Now, let's get started with the reading. If you want a personal reading, contact me with the email down below, and I'll get back at you, okay? So, we're going to go by the four elements, water, earth, air, and fire. And this is going to be for water signs. We're going to do water signs first. What do you see coming in from now to the end of the month for January 2023 for water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio? I'm see, I'm already seeing cards falling out, so I'm going to go ahead and pull those. I'm going to pull one more. Show me what you see for water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. What do you see for water signs from now to the end of January 2023? Okay, yeah, okay. So, I'll tell you what I'm seeing here. So for the first one, I'm seeing some of you since this is, especially for water signs, I see this a lot for water signs, that you're going to be making a whole lot of new moves for January because you're closing things out, okay? This is the genie. The genie wants to give you everything that you wish for, okay? But you have to close the door first on past things, including relationships, jobs, situations that no longer hold you up for your higher good okay the genie this is also called the yes and no answer or, or a card if you ask a yes or no question this will appear and the upright is yes and the reverse it's no but here it's telling you that the genie is ready the universe is ready to give you your every wish that is that you want you just have to close out doors first and i do see a door closing here this is someone that um um, I'm seeing a divorce here. I'm seeing divorce or closing of situations. Seeing the upright, this is the great card. You have everything that the universe wants to give you. Happy marriage, children, everything. But it's in the reverse. So I'm seeing a lot of you closing relationships out, divorces, um, bad situations. And that's with me. I'm a water sign. I am closing things out. This year I've decided, which I've always decided, but this year is going to be even more. It's It's been emphasized in the stars. I will not accept anybody, anybody that's going to lie to me, cheat, steal, or just doesn't hold me up for my higher good. That's just not going to happen. What, whether it be friends or family or, um, you know, relationships or anything like that. If you don't hold me up to my higher good, you're out. Okay, and I see a lot of you water signs doing that or at least feeling this way by the end of this month and you'll be closing things out since it is the new year okay and then here we have the um people leaving and the upright this means that you're trying to get out of a turbulent situation you see how the 
uh, swords here surround the person. So they're either in a mental state of prison or you have a situation that has kept you mentally imprisoned and you're ready to go. This woman's packed her bags, leaving, could be man or woman. And then the water here is wavy. That represents turbulent times. So you're moving away from the turbulent times. You're going to the other side where the water is more calm. You're deep in your mind about the this decision, this situation. Um, so, hold on, I thought I saw someone coming. So, um, yeah, you want to move away from that. So it's in the reverse, meaning that you are going to get there. You are going to get to the other side. You are going to manifest everything that you want to, but you got to put it into play. You have to, you know, make things happen. It's just not going to fall in your lap. It's, if it's time to close the door out, then close it. It doesn't matter who it is. It doesn't matter if it's a relative or brother or sister relationship or whatever. If this person is making you cry every day or um, disrespecting you in some kind of way or whatever, it's time to close that out. Why would you want to linger in any negative situation? This is what I don't understand why some people, I know it's hard to close things out, but a lot of people stay in stuff that they shouldn't for far too long and then it makes it harder to get out. Okay, so yeah it's time to get that excuse my nails y'all they're they're under construction <laughs> so and i know i will say that in every video because they are okay so now we're going to do earth signs taurus virgo capricorn from now to the end of january 2023 what do you see for earth signs taurus virgo capricorn i always take the first card i see and then i'm going to take that one the spirit's asking me to Show me Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. I'm also going to take that one. Okay, those came quick. And for Earth Signs, I always notice that they the cards always fall quick. Okay, this is a, the Emperor. This is someone that's in authority. So I, these, I do see some of you Earth Signs dealing with authority figures this month. But this authority figure is different, okay? Because you see his knees are exposed. His feet are exposed. And not underneath the um robe that he's got on his red represents passion so he's very passionate and he's holding his power stick up showing that he's got a lot of authority here and if you notice one sleeve is showing as blue the meaning that he's in deep thought about every decision he makes his feet are firmly planted on the ground meaning that he's very powerful everything that he decides is is for you know your own good okay and then he has this ball in his hand representing he's got the power over authority over everything over the whole world okay so he's got much much authority here so i do see a lot of you dealing with authority figures it could be the police it could be someone at work it could be a judge you're facing a judge or something like that but there is much authority here and i'm seeing this is going to be for your higher good or someone that's on your side maybe you're about to face court and um the it's gonna go in your favor, favor or something like that i am seeing someone some type of heartbreak here um this is caused by a third party if some of you are in relationships and there was a, a heartbreak or maybe a heartbreak is coming this is by a third party someone cheating and they got caught okay and this caught caused much depression and or sorrow or this could be coming or actually happening in the present moment because this is in the present position it's in the middle of the present position so i do see um this could be happening now so um watch out for that because whoever this person is is not to be trusted uh, they lie and cheating you know doing whatever with a third party all right and now i'm seeing the six of cups this is when it's in the upright, this represents nostalgia, going back to um, the olden times, going back to revisit the past or something like that. And that's what this represents, but it's in the reverse. So a lot of you are stuck in the past. You're stuck thinking about it. You're not moving forward, okay? You're not moving forward. So this is actually it goes this way. So you're not moving forward. You're not moving the way you're supposed to move. Uh, you're just staying stuck some of you maybe it's in your memory and you're wishing to go back to the past but you're not getting there you're just stuck in it you cannot live in the past forever it's okay to revisit it it's okay to think about it but you can't stay there okay the past is done it's over with you can't bring it back and a lot of you are wishing it could be about this person here um you're wishing that things were back the way they used to be because um 
you know, that's how you remember the relationship to be, but you're not just not going to get there. It's not going to happen because this person is a cheater. Okay. And some of you are wishing, oh, I wish, you know, things were like in the very beginning that we were so happy or whatever, but that is just not going to happen. So move out of the past, get your, get your mind out of the past. Okay. That's what this card is telling you. You're stuck in the past. Get out of it. Okay, now we have the Knight of Swords. This is an important message coming in. It's rushing in quickly. So within the next couple of weeks, there's going to be an important message that's coming in that's really, really crucial to you. It could be about this court date or it could be about this relationship here. You see there's birds in the corner. This represents um, messages coming in. And the horse, you see how he's flying to, through the air. Horses always move, mean movement, movement in your life. So this is, he is flying in, he's rushing in, and then see the urgent look on his face, and then he's holding the stick up. Swords are always, um, swords are never good, okay? So this could be bad news or some type of urgent news that you really need to pay attention to. Attention to. So pay attention to the next two weeks, the coming events that are coming, because it's going to be really crucial for you to know what this information is going to be but it is going to rush in quickly all right earth signs taurus work on capricorn okay so next we have fire signs which is aries leon sagittarius fire signs aries leon sagittarius says next what do we see from now to the end of january for fire signs aries leon sagittarius tell me what you see for aries leo and sagittarius what do you see coming in for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius? We have the World card. These don't count. What do you see for Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius? Show me what you see for Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Show me what you see for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. I'm seeing a lot of people have relationship issues, okay? So, I have a bit of a cold, y'all, so I feel like I can't talk. So, here we have the world, but it's in the reverse. So, it seems like your world is turned upside down right now. When it's in the upright, this is a good card. The world, you got the world in your hands, and you see the infinity sign representing good things coming in always. But it's in the reverse, so I'm seeing that you are in stagnation. It could be about anything, any situation that you're in right now, you are in stagnation. Now, here we have the angel. This is the judgment card. Here we have the angel blasting its horn. What, why is this angel blasting their horn? Well, they're waking up these people that are asleep. Waking up, up and see how the water in the back is very, very turbulent. Lots of blue here. Meaning that you are in your mind about this situation here. You're deep in your mind and you're not seeing the true calling of the situation. So the angel comes in and he blasts his horn and he says, wake up, pay attention. This is also called the aha card, the awakening card. Meaning the angel is trying to wake you up to a certain situation. There's things happening around you that you're not seeing you're not paying attention and that's due to the situation here you're being blinded by it it could be a relationship someone's lying to you and you're not seeing what's really going on or something at work or something like that so you need to look into that here we have the king of pentacles this represents um the person it could be the person that you were involved in um at one point this person was a very good man um a family man Okay, this was a family man that um, had his own money. You see the coin on his on his leg here, and he's got one foot sticking out on the stool, representing him very stable. And he's got his home. Yellow always brings in a brand new day. When you see the color yellow in the background, that represents this person or this situation is bringing in a new day for you. He holds his power stick up. That means he's in management, some type of management or power position. But it's in the reverse for you. That means it's in stagnation. This relationship is in stagnation. They could have been lying to you about their their position or their situation or anything like that. That's why your world is turned upside down. And the universe is telling you, pay attention, you're, you're missing something. What are you missing? Maybe what this person was lying about, all right? I do see them having a third party somewhere involved with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Here they are celebrating. These are three people. Okay, this could mean two things. It could mean you'll be celebrating something or that he's celebrate, he or she are celebrating with someone else with a third party. So again, wake up, pay attention to what's going on around you because something isn't right. 
All right, something is not right with the situation, and that's why you are in deep thought. You're on a stagnation. So pay attention to everything and see what this is about. That was for fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius for January from now until the end of the month, 2023. Oh, but by the way, everyone, Happy New Year. I've been, I'm still dealing with purchasing my home. I already found a townhouse. Um, and I've signed papers and everything. So I do close, I think, on the 29th at the end of this month. And I will be in my home soon. And then I will resume back to doing videos every day and doing live free tarot readings like I used to. You know, I've been at my daughter's house for months now and I haven't been able to do a work on my page like I've wanted to. But once I'm in my home, y'all, my channel is going to take off. I'm going to do free readings live, free readings like I used to. So be expecting that by February, okay? So... Now we're going to do air signs, which is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And if you want a personal reading, contact me with my email, and I'll get back at you as soon as I can, okay? Keep in mind, I work a full-time job. Air signs. Okay, show me air signs for January from now to the end of the month, 2023. Okay, I'm actually going to take these three. I need one more. Give me one more for air signs. There we go. Okay, so here we have the page of cups. I see that there's someone that's coming in that's going to offer you this cup of love. This is a younger person. They're actually a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And, okay, we're going to talk about a few things here. First of all, what is he standing on? He's standing on the color yellow, representing brand new day. So whatever he offers you is going to bring in a brand new day. It's going to be a good relationship. Although this person has had turbulent times, you see the water is wavy. It means they're still standing firmly on their promise. Okay. And if you look at their colors, they're wearing blue and red. Red represents deep uh, passionate very passionate about their decision what they're thinking about and they're in blue meaning deep thought about you they're offering you this cup that has a fish in it fish is always christianity okay with christianity meanings they believe in god they're good people on the inside just because they've had turbulent times doesn't mean they're not a good person so i would be looking out for this person because they're actually very good for you i'm seeing a couple of years younger than you now, here we have the Six of Pentacles. This is some a third party that's coming in to help you financially. Um, there's two beggars here. They're on their knees, and you see how um, he's giving them coins. This person is very passionate about helping you. They're wearing red, so they're very passionate about helping you. They're wearing yellow, so what the money they give you brings in a brand new day for you. Here's the coins floating around. And if you notice, his uh, scale is balanced. It's not up or down. Balance meaning he's um, helping everyone. What he does is fair for all, which is going to be good for you. So be looking out because I see you've been in deep thought about the situa money situation. So it's going to be good. It's a good situation that's, that this person is going to come in. It could be anyone. So be looking out for that. Um, here we, the best part of all here we have is the Ace of Pentacles. This is the hand of the universe coming out. Uh, with this big old coin so this means a new beginning so this could be related to the person coming in the third party helping you which brings in the hand of the universe god is saying look i'm going to help you out here's the coin it's coming from the clouds and if you notice you're inside the garden of eden so that represents that this money this new opportunity this new beginning is going to be great it's going to open new doors for you you got to manifest it y'all manifest it call it out pray about it write it down on paper manifest that thing and i'm also seeing a new baby here this is also a baby card so some of you could be announcing that you're going to have a baby here pretty soon um or, or already pregnant okay and then we have the queen of swords i am seeing someone that's a little bit grumpy that you might know or in your life the the queen of swords always cuts she's in the in the upright it represents this person's deep in their mind there's a message here but swords cut so they want to say something really rude or mean or just cut you to the quick but it's in the reverse so this person is really grumpy not wanting to talk or express their 
feelings. This could be an, a, an authority figure, someone you're dealing with, family member, or authority figure, or something to that nature that you might have been having problems with. And now, right now, they're moody. They don't really want to say what's wrong with them. Even when you ask them, they're like, I don't want to talk about it or whatever. So be watching out for that person as well, okay? And that's it, y'all. Um, again, if you want a personal reading, contact me with my email. Don't forget to watch every link that I put down below. Watch my music video or the music video I'm in. Subscribe to my brother's page, y'all. Help him out. Um, and watch the videos, alright? When a person reading, contact me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.